What's up guys, this is Let's Attempt. This video I'm going to take a bit of time out just to take you guys through recording content through HDMI and getting past the roadblock which is HDCP protection. Um, HDCP has been brought to us by Intel, it's like a hardware uh, encoding thing which stops your um, video capture card or your HDMI capture card in this case. Um, from capturing whatever's on the screen, so it basically prevents it from doing its job. So this video is going to um, demystify some of these rumours and give you a chance to have a look at a, a cheap and alternative way to get some nice quality video um, captured through HDMI and obviously in turn upload it to YouTube. Uh, before we get into all that, uh, I just want to give you guys a gander at the setup that I'm using. Uh, first up, I'm running an Intel i7 quad-core processor that is um, running Windows 7 64-bit that is on a 2TB Western Digital hard drive. Also in amongst the stuff that I'm using as hardware is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX something. It's At the time of this recording, it's almost top of the range, so it's pretty high quality stuff. Uh, it does have HDMI inputs, um, sorry, output support, not input. And the last thing is Ava Media. It is a HDMI uh, capture. It also does D-Sub as well, which will uh, include some uh, cables and so forth to record component, which is up to 1080i. But this particular video, we're going to be focusing on 1080p. Uh, second up, software. Uh, to record audio using Audacity, um, everything you're hearing out of my mouth now is currently being recorded through Audacity. Um, next up, we have PowerDirector 10. Now, um, I was fortunate with the setup that I've got to have that included with my um, Blu-ray player slash burner. And also the Ava Media Center 3D, which will allow you to view the um, the capturing, no, not the capturing, but view uh, what is coming through uh, the HDMI. So up on the screen now, we've got a recap of all the um, hardware that's being used. I uh, just want to draw your attention to uh, the Ava Media capture card there. Uh, I picked that up off eBay for 180 Australian dollars. So for a device that can record, um, or in this case capture, HDMI, it's quite affordable. So that's probably all the extra money you'll need to spend if you've got a, a mid to top of the range PC. Also while we're looking at this picture, I just want to draw your attention to the top right. Uh, up there you'll see a Plantronics um, Game Pro headset. Um, now we've forked out a significant amount of money for this, um, however across the audio recording circles um, a lot of people that do this uh, with the high def stuff, uh, as far as the audio goes uh, you can get away with using a, a $20 uh, Logitech mic if you, if you like, uh, I just like the headset I did so you've got a consistent um, uh, distance between your mouth and, and the headset, that's all. And you can pick up cheap headsets as well. Uh, the Logitech ones will work, work just fine. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is HDCP video error. Now, uh, when you go to hit record on your video capture card uh, or your capture device, uh, you can actually capture through quite an array of different video editing software. Um, so this is a stumbling block you're going to come across and there's a couple of different um, rumours and workaround fixes uh, some being from Very Dodgy which is going in and physically stripping away doing some soldering and adding on uh, additional parts that um, obviously incur different expense uh, and other ways are through HDMI splitters um, HDMI conversion to um, DVI uh, and so forth. But what I'm going to um, take you through, uh, I'm going to be showing you just a video of the screen and just how to utilize a handy little program called Fraps uh, and incorporate that with Ava Media Center 3D. And that way we can look at bypassing uh, this HDCP problem. 
Okay, so here we are. Thanks for being patient through the introduction part. Uh, this is my desktop, and we're going to be getting straight into um, how to bypass this HDCP issue. So first up, um, what we might also look at doing is uh, take you through from start to finish a typical um, recording, uh, then matching up the audio with the video just to get your voice sync um, through just over what you're um, looking to display. So we'll start out by opening Audacity. So that's open there. Um, we don't necessarily need to have that take up too much room so we'll put that there in the corner. Uh, next up we're going to open up Fraps. Now this is a program which is going to help us with our H DCP error and I'll show you what I mean just in a moment with that so we're opening up fraps uh, if you got Windows 7 we'll just need to say yes just to confirm uh, that it's not going to do anything too malicious to the computer so this is fraps um, I want to draw your attention to this section firstly which is the 99 FPS section or tab um, there's an overlay section here, so the top right, left or lower, left and right, it's really up to you where you want to have the, have the display, will be where it will display the frames per second. Now it's handy to have that up there and I'll show you why, uh, just as we get into the actual recording. Next up is movies, so um, this is where the finished product is going to go, so I like to record at 60 frames per second it's um, uh, there's not too much of a file size difference between 30 and 60 uh, but there is a slightly noticeable difference when you're uh, doing your playback with 60 uh, frames over 30 um, that's just in my general opinion um, so that is pretty much frap so what we'll do is we'll minimize that now if you look down here in your little uh, running uh, programs, uh, there's a little fraps icon there, so that's telling us that that's ready to go in the background. So that's cool. Now, next program I'm going to open up is Ava Media Center 3D. So um, we've got a few different choices that we can do. We can capture, we can play back video, we can listen to some music, take pictures obviously review the settings. Uh, I'm not going to take you through any tutorials on that because uh, this video is going to be going for long enough as it is. So the bit we're most interested in is capture. So down here we have Little Big Planet running. Now I ap apologize that it's pretty jumpy because I've got Camtasia running at the moment. So there's Camtasia as well as um, this program trying to run at the same time. So you can see in the top right, just up here, we've got our frames per second counter going. So that's Fraps telling you that it's um, getting ready to record this little window, uh, which is what we want. Now, um, I can double click on this and make it bigger. Now this is the issue we've got with HDCP. So if I hit record down here on your software, um, it's saying this program is protected, <laughs> protected, and its content can't be recorded. Okay, so that's an issue, and that's what we're going to use Fraps just to overcome. So we'll say OK to that. Now this is why I like Ava Media Center 3D, uh, simply because uh, it, will, it will show you what's playing through HDMI, but the second you try to capture it through the program, uh, that's where you're going to run into a roadblock. So now that that little bar's gone away, you can see that the fraps counter's still working away up there. So um, what we might do, just to give you a, a preview on how to sync up audio to fraps, um, I'll just get into a little big planet pod. So here's my little character. So just to get your voice synced up with what's happening, uh, I'll just use a really simple method. Uh, so I'll click on the record for um, <coughs> Audacity 
uh, and then just count to five and then you hit uh, F12 on fraps which is your um, shortcut key to record. Just before I get into that, just going into fraps, I should have mentioned this earlier. Fraps, where are you? So with fraps uh, to record movies, there's a video capture hotkey which is F12. Um, sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. So now that we've established that, uh, we'll go back into uh, Ava Media Center. So this is, uh, this is a really simple trick. Um, so you hit record, then we're going to count to five. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Hit F12, and we should have uh, fraps. I'll just make this bigger. Uh, up the top here, as soon as the Ava Media Center 3D goes away, uh, you'll see fraps up there on the top right is now red. Uh, which indicates that it's recording. So I'm going to move, do a bit of syncing. So we'll jump, 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 run right, run left, run right again, and we'll wave goodbye. See ya. So once that's done, uh, you can press F12 again. That'll bring your fraps back to yellow. So we can actually close down Ava Media Center because we're done with that. Uh, Frap, no, not Fraps, Audacity rather is still recording away there, so we'll stop that. And um, we'll do the syncing thing just in a moment. But before we do, we'll go to File, Export. So I've already done a little test up here, but I'll go over the top of it again. So Little Big Planet test, so we'll save that. We'll replace it. Yeah, okay. So that's Audacity, so we're done with that. Now, just to bring the, the video all together, uh, I'll be using PowerDirector. So if you can get yourself a copy of this, um, as I said earlier, I was fortunate enough to get this with the um, the Blu-ray burner that came with my PC. Um, so we'll delete all the preview stuff that's in there. So the first area we'll go to will be the video. So I'll go to C Drive, Fraps, Movies, and in there we'll find our most recent recording. So today is the 30th of the 7th. Uh, it'll be the big one, which will be this one here. So we can drag that over. So we're done with that folder now. And what we'll do next is drag in our audio. So in here, this is the uh, content, the editing content that we're going to be playing around with. So first things first, we're going to be dragging that um, the video for editing. So that's ready to go. Also next we're going to be dragging in LBP test. And we're going to put that into the audio. So uh, as you can recall, uh, we waited for five seconds. So we need to trim five seconds off this video. So you, you can do that the manual way by double clicking on that and opening up the um, audio editing program. I just like to make your icon like this and you can click and drag it along and uh, up there under the yellow line you can see a, ca a second counter so that's five seconds so we'll release that so just down here you can see that uh, that's moved the audio across a bit so I'll drag that back to the beginning of the video uh, also here um, as you can see the video ends here so, and I've just kept on continuing on with my um, commentary so you can actually drag that back to the end. So you've got a completely synced video now, uh, which is really good. And you can review that just by clicking on movie and uh, obviously dragging this back to the start. And it will be synced up. We should have uh, fraps. I'll just make this bigger. 
uh, up the top here as soon as the Ava Media Center 3D goes away. Uh, you'll see Fraps up there on the top right is now red, uh, which indicates that it's recording. So I'm going to move, do a bit of syncing. So we'll jump, 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 run right, run left, run right again, and we'll wave goodbye. Okay, so um, that is the little big planet, so everything's all synced up. Um, the sync isn't actually 100% on this video, just with Camtasia running at the moment, but that's just a, a quick preview on how to get the voice matched up. Uh, feel free to check out any of the other videos on my channel. I've used this particular method uh, to, just get, to get the sync working um, virtually perfectly. Now that we bypass HDCP, uh, we want to upload this to some high quality, so the next step is to produce. Now there's plenty of different ways uh, to do it. Um, word around the encoding circles is that H.264 uh, is the way to go. Uh, I'm not going to say that that's wrong. Um, me personally, I don't have an extremely fast internet connection, um, so I use um, WMV, so Windows Media Video. And here I select, just for my HD YouTube uploading, uh, Windows Media Video 9 HD Standard Quality. So if you click on that, that will produce a video to approximately 23.8 megs. So for a video for 30 seconds long, um, that will pay back, play back at 720p and the quality will look great. So um, then you hit start, it'll go through it in code and you can go ahead and upload the finished project to YouTube. So we'll get out of that. So in this instance we're not going to save it. So that's essentially how it's done. So what we've done is we've recorded uh, some HD video through our HDMI capture card. We've bypassed HDCP protection without any fancy fixes and we've got some nice HD video uh, that we can uh, now encode and also well, firstly edit then encode and upload up to YouTube. So there it is. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you found that uh, tutorial helpful. Um, yeah, please comment if there's anything that I've missed or anything you're not sure of, um, I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Alright, thanks for watching. Okay guys, um, this is Little Big Punnet, so I'm just going to give you a bit of a test run just to show you the sync at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, we'll be showing you how to sync up voice to uh, video. So I'm going to jump, jump. Jump again, jump again, grab, pull, jump up, grab, push, jump, and jump. Click the bubble. So that is pretty much it. Uh, so a wave, a wave, and we'll stop it there.